Hello, I am Fantastic and Fantastic, and today it's the Hello Kitty title challenge with a fixed team. I like the idea of fixed teams because it's kind of guaranteeing that you're going to have, you know, a way to actually deal with all the mechanics. So, who has an L on this team? Light and Purple does. So, let us get that going. I like the music though. This is, music is bumping. You know, when I think about it, title challenges that give fixed teams are not a bad idea because in theory, everyone can at least have a chance of doing it. Allies attack greatly reduced. Absorbing nonsense. I'm quite confident you do something. Yes. Canceling out. This is a good way to like advertise their cards too. Like, I really feel like this is a good idea for the most part. Like, advertising your cards in a real dungeon. Like, good stuff all around. And the music's bumping too, so that's cool. Oh, fish you. You are tanky. That is not a good thing. Hmm. Maybe I should have used that active skill to buff. It is a super guy idea, Hank, indeed. I don't... You know what? I guess I'll just suffer through it. Like, it seems like 30 minutes is pretty generous, so... I guess I'm just going to have to suffer through whatever nonsense is about to hit me momentarily. Oh wait, I didn't even have a way to... Oh. Didn't matter. I realized I didn't even have four attributes. Okay, it doesn't even hit hard. And I can resist that. Excellent. Okay, on to the next floor. Because I don't know if there's going to be other absorption spawns in the future. Like, I feel like Gung-Ho is always going to give me absorption spawns. Okay, there is a VDP latent on one of my people. So I'm going to use this because it gives me a column of red, and therefore I have enough colors to activate um, the VDP latent. Do I want TPA? Maybe. Excellent. On to the next floor. And do I plan on trading for LJ? I definitely will, I'm pretty sure. Like, it's an inexpensive trade. More so the question is, I like blue teams. Would I trade for Norza Kitties? Because <laughs> I like blue. I'm just biased. I like blue. And if I have the chance to use, you know, blue teams, I am going to take it. Alrighty, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do here? I want to... Hmm. If I want to get on purple, I need two more. So I start two ahead of purple. That would be like wood. So let's try that here. Oh, something's ringing. You love using old Norza, even though it's totally different. It's still blue, so I'm happy with it. As it says, the salmon thing from Sanrio is like blue Shiva Dragon. I know, exactly, and you have to roll them, which is the drawback. Okay, so, there's an absorption spawn. There is problems with my board. What do you do? Nope. What do you do? Nope. What do you do? I'll just delay you. Again, I don't like this activatable board for Rainbow. It's not really that. And also, you know... Gotta deal with this nonsense as well. Okay, so now it's up. We should be good to go. Bing, bing. Excellent. On to the next floor. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to roll that much as I might do like a couple of rolls because, you know, it's cute and whatnot. And a fun fact, apparently when I first started playing pad, I did actually roll in like 
the first Hello Kitty event, mostly because there was no one called Mantastic to tell me otherwise. So I actually have some of the cards, which I think is kind of amusing. Okay, that's not a casket, shoot. Apparently it's forgiving. Oh, some orbs are weakened. That's interesting because that's a new mechanic actually where they debuff you if you match these like negative orbs, so to speak. Is it called negative orbs? Forgot. But either way, it's not a good thing. They even make a weird sound like... Alright, on to the next floor. Alright, halved movement time, which is inconsiderate to say the least. Something is unmatchable. I can clear unmatchable via TPAs because the Bracky thing has TPA ability to clear, and that is... This team is very high health. Very forgiving, indeed. Alright, tape resist is inconsiderate, so we are going to... Do this, this, and this. Cascading down from the top helps when you have tape. On to the next floor. Nerf the damage, exactly. But they can be counteracted by orb enhances. Alrighty. I know someone clears Awoken Binds, which is nice. There we go. Bing, bing, bing. Oh, I could have cascaded that a little better for the red. Oh, wow, Dukester! Thank you so much, Dukester, for becoming a sensational subscriber for 63 beautiful months on a row. And Denium Dud, welcome to the stream. What's clearing unmatchable on this team is the unmatchable latent on the Brackies, or my melody and Brackies. The TPA allows you to use this latent, and then because there are four TPAs, every time I match four connected wood orbs, I clear four turns of unmatchable. And hello, Annihilator98. Welcome to the stream. Hello, new watcher to both of you two, actually. How are you doing today? All right, that's purple, red, green. So... So I could probably kill it now if I use like the damage spike, I'm pretty sure. So they're buffed, that's green, that's red, that's yellow. Oh shoot, I forgot which is which now. <laughs> uh, you know what? I forgot. It was a road wood, okay. I wasn't quite sure which is which. I only have to memorize two things and I forget somehow. Somehow. The dungeon one shot you twice? Interesting. Somehow I managed to avoid that. Alrighty, so hopefully this video gives you a little bit of insight as to what you could expect. I feel like because it's a fixed team, you obviously have the tools to deal with the mechanics at hand. So, with that being said, I wish you all the very best looking your own pad adventures. We'll get a cool title in the future and happy puzzling.